Hello. In times of uncertainty, it is usual to be overwhelmed by intense feelings and strong emotions. However, as responsible grown-ups, we must observe the reactions in ourselves, our loved ones, and even the young ones to prevent the prolonged distress that might result in long-term mental health maladies. So today, we will be discussing some of the healthy mechanisms to cope with anxiety often seen to be reported at times of duress, such as during the second COVID-19 spike. But before we do so, let's quickly share some of the common signs and symptoms of anxiety. Anxiety has many faces and can affect us in innumerable ways, including irritability, restlessness, loss of focus, racing thoughts, exhaustion, sweating, excessive concern, fear, lack of sleep, nausea, palpitations, and even trembling. But do not worry, as in this video, we will share some, some self-help tips to help you combat these intense anxiety symptoms. The first one, establish boundaries, rituals, and routines for you and your family for structure, stability, and reassurance. This will help you feel more in control of everything and aid you better in coping with change or uncertainty. The second one, embrace the radical acceptance and attitude of tragic optimism. Remember, things might not be going as planned, so be resilient and try and turn life's negatives into positives. Let's say, when in sadness, confusion and fear, ask yourself, what can I learn from this crisis or how does this crisis redefine my priorities? The third one. Break from watching, reading, or listening to news stories, including those on social media. If you cannot stop consuming COVID-19 news, the, the least you can do is read verified and authentic information, or even allocate five minutes to watch something joyful or inspirational before going to bed. The fourth one, take care of your body. Exercise regularly, maintain a balanced diet, practice simple breathing and stretching exercises. However, if you find your oxygen level dropping, get in touch with a medical professional and keep monitoring your oxygen levels. Unless help is availed, try pruning, which, is simply, which simply means to lie on your stomach to boost oxygen levels. This information is verified by the Union Ministry, Ministry of Health and Welfare India. The fifth one. Connect with friends and family and stay informed. Stay in touch virtually and find time to laugh together or engage in some humor as it helps reducing stress levels. The sixth one, try and do some activities that give you pleasure. Play can be very helpful as it has multiple health benefits. However, engage only in indoor games activities when social distancing rules are in place. The seventh one, Try out journaling. This will help you in identifying and articulating your feelings to yourself, your loved ones, or even to your notebook or a favorite object. The eighth one, engage in behaviors, activities that spark your imagination, like art, music, baking, gardening, etc. This will help you heal as freedom in captivity comes from imagination. Remember, we all experience stress and anxiety at some point in our lives, but anything in excess is detrimental to our health. So look out for symptoms and seek help if necessary, because when you combat your anxieties, you help yourselves, your children, your partner, and your immediate community. Thank you.